Welcome to another episode of Puff Daddy Reef. Today I will be doing an unboxing of the Kessel 8380 Grow Light. Now, you might think that I'm getting into a new hobby, but this is actually for my saltwater aquarium. Basically, what it is going to do is grow catomorpha uh, algae. Now, catomorpha algae is a macro algae. That means it's a little more complex than some of those single cellular algaes that you were seeing floating around in my tank. And the idea is if I have this super powerful light beaming down on some catomorpha that will consume the nutrients faster than some of these other algaes that I'm battling in my display tank can consume the algaes so it'll outcompete them and this light is a special light it's made by Kessel with the dense matrix light array I love Kessel lights especially these simple kind of canon ones and this one has a special spectrum specifically for growing catomorpha so we're going to open this up um, as always, this is an unboxing, and some people just absolutely love seeing how things are packaged. I prefer actual reviews, but I will also review the product as I go and give you more in-depth feedback <coughs> at how it helps with my tank's problems. So, it was pretty easy to open the box. The inner box is a white box with some tabs. We can just flip this open, and once you have it open, there's basically a, an instruction manual right here that tells you that it's your grow light. You can plug it into your wall and it will grow things. So that's useful warranty. Um, that's very good to have, date of purchase, place of purchase. Uh, probably a good idea to do these right away so you never have to worry about that after the fact. And it looks like in this box, pretty much the first thing you open up is this cardboard box that kind of shields some things. You see there's light here and a power cord. Let's take out the power cord. It looks like it's a power cord and a power cord extension and this is really good, especially if you have a bigger tank like mine. It gives you room to be a little farther away from the walls. For me though, I have power outlets basically in the same location that I'm going to use this. So I probably won't use the extender. And the great thing about that is it means that this cord isn't excessively long. So that is a nice feature. Now underneath that, I'm assuming is the power brick. Here's the power brick. Uh, it's very simple. Feels actually kind of cheap, but you know, it's a power brick. And that's it. Oh, and then down here, there's actually some hanging equipment. Now, it's very good that this hanging equipment is in there because I am most definitely going to hang this from the ceiling inside my sump. So I'm very happy that's there. I'm definitely going to use that. And there's nothing else on that side, so let's get to the main part. And this is the light, the main ensemble. This is everything else that's in there. It is lightly wrapped, not very, very padded at all, um, but just this little foam thing, we'll take it out. And there is the light, it has a matte black finish, very nice, um, just feels pretty solid um, to the touch. You can see in here, here's the dense matrix array, we'll bring it closer and see if we can get a focus on that. Um, there's a bunch of different LEDs in there. And one thing that's interesting is this reflector has these interesting pleats in it, uh, which you don't really see on the saltwater lights. It's a little smoother in that reflector. Um, but basically, it's like a cannon. It's got the light in there. It's got a heat sink and a fan. And then here is the cable, your little hanging pendulum component. And right here is your setting. So rather than having a tunable uh, spectrum, like on the other lights where you can go through a range of colors. This just has grow and bloom. 
So two different settings. I think the one that we'll be looking for for our Kato Morpha is the grow setting. And another thing to notice is unlike the saltwater aquarium lights like the A360, there is no input or output ports for these five volt controllable ports. So you have less controllability in this light, but this is just for growing algae. It's not pleasant to look at. So I just wanted to show you the spectrum of this light really quickly. Uh, so I have the light, and then like I said, there's these different settings, which you can see here. There is off, grow, and bloom. So here is with off, here is with grow, and it's insanely bright. And then here is the setting for bloom. Once again, I think we're gonna be using this grow setting, not the bloom setting, because the grow setting has some of the extra wavelengths, I think, especially in the blue spectrum that the Catomorpha algae also likes. So that's what it looks like. It's really bright. I'm not gonna shine it at the light. And thank goodness this is going into a sump where I'm not gonna have to look at it because it is a very uncomfortable and annoying color to look at. So I just wanted to make a quick note when you're installing these what the appropriate size pilot hole is. Now if you want to be able to just hand twist this in, I would go ahead and use a 5 uh, inch bit. Wouldn't go bigger than that. You might be able to get away with a smaller pilot hole, it just depends on how soft your wood is but the one that worked for me was 564 So there she is humming away in my tank. I mounted her right in this front compartment where the water pours in from the main display. I chose this compartment because there's really not much else I can do here. It's not a good place for refugium critters or anything and I didn't want to take up a lot of my skimmer chamber there with the light. So for now, it's in this chamber. If you have a better idea, let me know. I have big plans for this refugium, which is kind of dark now, so I don't want to take up that space. You might notice there's something else I have here. It's an additional refugium light. Uh, lighting it from the top was not enough for me, so I had this spare light, and this is actually for a planted tank. I said, why not? Let's take some of these Velcro tabs just push it on there so now it'll light the Kato Morpher from the side. My ball has temporarily sunk to the bottom but I'll try to get a good shot of it and then we'll see how much it grows over the next few days. That's my unboxing of the light. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions of this leave them down in the comment section below. This is a short video that I like to toss these things out on Wednesdays. My main videos will come out on Sundays, so be sure to tune in to Puff Daddy Reef on Sundays to see those. Thanks for watching, and happy reefing.